episode on Chipotle stock, and I was complaining on how Chipotle hasn't been as good lately, so I might not go as much. And then what do you do? They go and drop another goddamn meat. So, what do we got now? Chipotle is adding smoked brisket to its menus nationwide. I saw this title pop up. I, I do a series in the morning. I'm doing a demo test on it where I read the news from multiple different news sites and try to figure out the truth. And I saw this headline this morning. Like, I'm coming back to this one. And we got smoked brisket. This is going to be a oh, limited time offering. Go fork yourself. They always do that. They, they'll bring something I like and they, they take it away. Every place does that to me. But the best smoked brisket brisket taco I've ever had came from a place called uh, Bad Brad's in Michigan. And I take their chopped, not sliced, the chopped up smoked brisket and you use their their cheese grits as like a foundation. Like you spackle it over the tortilla. Now I did use my homemade tortilla so it made it a little bit better. But you take homemade tortilla and then you just spackle it with the cheese grit and then you put the smoked brisket on top you don't need anything else you want to put some vegetables and, and shit on it and ruin it that's up to you by far probably the best taco next to my homemade bread that you're going to get from um some other place making it um i'm just you know they're not they're probably not smoking the meat in the back of the chipotle grill so you know you're, i'm curious on how good the uh smoked brisket will actually be what their supply chain looks like are they gonna have a bunch of like local barbecue joints um, doing this meat? Is it something they reheat up? Um, it's you know there's a few other ways to get that done too. But I mean, okay, finally something different. They they tried doing the carne asada. I didn't find it particularly interesting myself. I still think their chicken's the best out of the bunch. I always find their regular steak to be chewy. Um, just for me, like if I make steak tacos, I, I basically just do. Uh, like, I'll chop up some ribeye, and uh, I don't even need to season it. It's give me a good tortilla and some great steak, and I don't need the uh, like marinade or flavoring. So I'm not a real big fan of anything else. I do love their chicken. I'm excited to try the brisket out. If you remember the queso, they, they think they had three quesos. They came out with a queso, and everybody hated it, and then they changed it a little bit. That was, like, the second rendition of the queso, and then they had the, like, new queso, the white queso. That middle queso, it was... The original queso and they modified it and it was a little bit spicier. If you had that queso with smoked brisket, it would have made one hell of a taco. Because I think it would have had a similar composition to what I get from that, um, the cheese grit. Like a, it's a little bit of richness and uh, spiciness. I just wish they would have brought back that queso with this brisket. I'd probably be there twice a day, three times a week. Um thing is their menu that there's only so many things they're going to be able to bring to the table and still do it in this like mass quantity type of serving uh, i'm curious to see how they grow from here menu wise store count wise how they're going to you know maximize growth at this point um i i as of lately i my food from there has not been great the portion size have been sizes have been small the chicken is just murdered they cook it and i feel like they cook it two more times and then they serve it to you just not been good the food's not been consistent they can't even get the burrito wrapped right in some in some cases um i understand we're all dealing with a worker shortage but at some point it's uh also irritating if you're getting like a double chicken burrito and it's looking like single chicken so anyways but i'm excited to check this one out if you're uh if you happen to try it if it's in your market uh, drop a comment. Let us know how it is. Um, and as soon as I come across it, I'll be there day one. Um, we got a Chipotle lane. Order that shit on the app. You just pull right up. Life's really good. Smart play on Chipotle's part. But um, I do a little series on here called The Foodie and Me because I'm a foodie. I, I like to eat. like to cook. like to eat out. Um, never going to change. And I saw this headline this morning. Like, I got to jump on this one real quick. So, anyways, I'm excited. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll catch you on the next one.